Bleach is the chemical that we use more than any other chemical. We use it almost every job, every single day. So it's really important that we have a, a, a great understanding of bleach, why we use it, how we use it, and where we use it. Um, the first thing you need to know is that bleach that we use is different than bleach that you get at a store. Uh, bleach at a store is not near as strong as the bleach that we use. And there's an ingredient in the bleach, it's called sodium hypochlorite, and that's what gives it the strength. And that's what allows it to be effective against mold, mildew, algae, pollen. Because remember, bleach is, is used to treat organic stains, stains caused by nature. So there's two ways that we draw the bleach. The first one is through a pump up. And when we mix the bleach with water, 90% of the time you'll be fine and get out just about any kind of stain with a 50-50 mix. And when we say 50-50, we just simply mean that half of it is the chlorine and half of it is water. And that, again, will, will take out about 90% of what you're cleaning, probably 95% of what you're cleaning. Every now and then, you'll need to go a little stronger for some more stubborn stains. But just keep in mind, the stronger you make this bleach, the easier it is for you to kill nearby landscaping or grass. So anytime we're using bleach, use precaution. Make sure that you're uh, watering the grass or any kind of nearby landscaping before, during, and after. Especially before, because if the roots of that grass or that landscaping, it drinks water first. If it does get uh, bleach in, in its system, it doesn't send it, to, it into shock as quick. So that's why you want to water nearby first, fill those roots up with water, and then continue to water throughout the process until you're done. And there's a phrase in this industry that's important that you know, and that's called uh, dilution is the solution. So when in doubt, if you're using strong bleach, make sure that we're doing a lot of diluting because uh, dilution is the solution. So dry it and rinse it with water afterwards. But through the pump up or uh, through the bleach tank that we went over before, it's in the truck, in the trailer. And when we use bleach out of there, we'll have a draw hose that's coming out of what we call this bypass. And that'll be dropped right into the bleach tank. Now, when we use the bleach this way, when it's coming out of the hose, it won't be near as strong as when it comes out of a pump up because when it comes out of a hose, it's going through 200 feet of hose and there's eight gallons of water being pushed through it. So it's being diluted. Um, so that's why if you need something a little stronger, you go to this method or you would throttle the machine down, uh, try to get a stronger mix that way first and then possibly go to your pump up next. The last thing I wanna talk about when it comes to bleach is just making sure that if you need acid, at the same time or, or near what you're cleaning, don't ever mix bleach and acid. Uh, if you do have to use both of the chemicals, uh, they have to be neutralized before you use one or the other. So if you're using uh, a degreaser and then you need to come right behind it and use bleach, you, you need to make sure, I'm sorry, if you're using an acid and then you're coming right behind it and you need to use bleach, you need to use a degreaser to, to neutralize that acid before you would ever put bleach on there. Because if you mix bleach and acid, it creates a mustard gas and that's not good. So the, the big key takeaway is knowing that you use this for most jobs. And then the second big key, key takeaway is making sure you never mix acid and bleach together.